achieved. Hey guys, that was another awesome E3 trailer. This time around it's uh, Assassin's Creed 3, the PS Vita version, which has its own unique storyline and starring character. This game actually takes place about maybe, let me see, maybe 10 or 20 years before the Assassin's Creed 3 version that's on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. This time you're actually playing as a female, a black woman no less. I actually I think this is the first major video game to have a black female in the lead starring role. And um, what else is interesting about this game is even though this is based in New Orleans, this is a time period when New Orleans was a colony of Spain. It prior to the rebellion that this game takes place. It, it was a colony of France, but then they gave it over to Spain because they lost the French and Indian War against the British colonials, which were who were allied with the Americans at the time because the Americans and the British were getting along at the time, which incidentally kind of resulted in the American Revolutionary War because the American Collins, they didn't want to pay the extra tax to the British, you know, which the British wanted since they were defending the Americans against the French and Indians. But that's a that's kind of like a, another perspective on the American Revolutionary War. Um, I think I, I, I saw some of that in a documentary on the History Channel. But anyways, uh, this game is looking to be great. I wish I could say I'm going to do a giveaway and a walkthrough of this game. However, I have no idea on how I could record gameplay from the PlayStation Vita. I mean, I could point a camera towards the screen, but the quality wouldn't be as good as, you know, what I use to record video game console play. Um, I could record gameplay from a, a PlayStation Portable because it has a component output. Unfortunately, the PS Vita doesn't have that. And Sony is like take. It's like taking many steps backwards because it, they even announced that they would drop component support from the PlayStation 3 also. But anyways, this is shaping up to look to be a good game. I might just find a way to record this game. If I do, I will be doing a walkthrough. It comes out either the same day or a day before Assassin's Creed 3 on the Xbox 360 and PS3. So just in case I do give a, do a walkthrough. I then will do a giveaway so you guys can add this video to your favorites post a like a comment and all that stuff because I might just do a giveaway if I do find a way to do a walkthrough for this game on a um, PlayStation Vita but anyways this this is a great thing it's, it's got a woman as the leading role I think this is a good thing because you got more guys playing video games versus females and um, if there was more women playing video games then guys would have more 
women to date that you know that has something in common with them you know and then maybe who knows someone would start maybe a dating service for video gamers but you know what I'm getting too ahead of myself here I'm thinking too hard but anyways uh, guys uh, check out the video check out videos I also uploaded an Assassin's Creed 3 earlier today and a Skyrim and a Swarter, a new Star Wars Old Republic video. Even though I, I uploaded those videos recently, I uploaded again today because something I'm starting now is for those two games, I'll be uploading new Star Wars Old Republic and new Skyrim videos daily on my channel. And I do got an awesome Assassin's Creed 3 from, you know, Electronic Entertainment Expo in California. I uploaded that earlier this morning, so check that video out. Just go to my channel, look, and it's awesome. And I'm doing also a giveaway for that. So that's all I got to say for day, today, and um, I'll probably be uploading more E3 trailers tomorrow. But anyways, um, I'll talk and I'll try and see you guys later.